Yay! <laughs> Yay, dude! Hey guys, before we get started on today's video, I just want to make a, I just want to apologize for not making videos very much lately. It's hot as, yeah, and uh, I've been doing what I can, but it's been like 15 minutes of video, 15 minutes of working on the golf cart here, 15 minutes of working on the mini bike there, 15 work, it, and I'm all over the place. So it's it's really hard to make a video right now. But I did manage to put together a little bit of stuff for y'all. I'm not happy with this video. I mean, honestly, I'm just telling you the truth. I I made this video work. I, I put it together. It is what it is. If you don't like it, hit the dislike button. I don't know what to tell you. But it is what it is. And we're going to be working on a golf cart today. And let's get into that intro. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Welcome back to another video. Go Karts Gone Fishing. Nate here. And today I'm going to be working on the golf cart. Um, I bought a few things and I acquired a few things because I'm doing all this on a budget of pretty much this. And uh, let me show you what I got and uh, show you what I plan to do. Check this out. I picked up a Dodge Neon Hood <laughs> for $15. And I'm thinking I'm just going to cut the outer skin off of that to make somewhat of a paneling for the hood and I got this bumper off of a freebie lawnmower pretty much the only thing I got off of it that was any good I'm gonna weld that to here to give me a little bit of a front bumper and I still have to make an exhaust and I still have a lot of welding to do like I still have to clean up a bunch of stuff Mainly, I got the thing I got to do is a lot of welding. I got to get a floor pan in of some sort. Um, I got two plans. I could either use that thick plywood, which is it's what I have, people. You got to remember, I got to use what I have. And then Trevor brought me over this expanded metal, which I could clean up and possibly use as a floorboard. So I'm kind of torn. This will be a lot lighter, but. It'll be rough on your feet if you're barefoot, which I am a lot. Sneak peek. But yeah, and also I still need some rear shocks. Because these shocks, the bushings, I, have to, I had to move this over. These shocks, the bushings are bad in them. So they, and they're way, way too stiff. So um, yeah, I gotta do that and I gotta build the exhaust still which I've already made a flange so yeah there's just so much stuff to do on this thing I'm just gonna get with it I guess I need to get to welding welding and grinding and cutting so, yep we'll get back with you if I get anything done today holy crap is it hot out here I know it looks bad but it's better than it was you can put your hand on it without it cutting you now did some welding down there. Did some welding right there. Working with a Harbor Freight. Haven't cleaned it up yet. Remember, cheap welder. I gotta uh, build the exhaust real quick. I'll show you what I got. So when I got this motor, this is what I got. It didn't come with no muffler or exhaust or anything. So I think I might have filmed some of making this washer. I might not have. I drilled two holes in it. Now I'm going to weld this piece of galvanized pipe onto it and just straight pipe it for now. Figure out a muffler later. But if you're going to weld this stuff, don't breathe it. So I'm going to do that now. We'll put that on. shut the fan down. So I know it's kind of backlit. Let me turn around. This is what it used to look like on my dash on this corner and I'll show you that side but I gotta do that up I gotta do that up I'm just taking a break from the hood because it's uh where's this where's this out so I get that's what it looks like before and that's at, before grinding and all that that's after I welded it 
this one's got a little bit of grinding on it but still needs some more but now you can put your hand on it and it ain't gonna hurt you or snag on your shirt there's my exhaust pipe it's still loose but tighten that up I need to figure out a exhaust gasket of some sort any ideas for that let me know this thing needs a lot of work though I still gotta hook up a gear shifter throttle pedal all that jazz For the calendar. What happened? Oh, <laughs> Johnny doing work. Shout out to Johnny. Alright, so I got a lot of welding done and I got that bumper on and now I think I'm going to make a dash and I'm going to use this like quarter inch or I mean half inch stuff here. I'm just going to come down off the dash at like a 45, come over and then 45 back up and I'll do that all up pretty and it ain't going to be pretty. I'm lying to you. Duh. It's going to be ugly. but. This whole thing is, and it's complex. It's like building a dang car. There's so much to it, but that's my next thing I'm going to do. I'm going to cut this up and bend it and weld it and figure out if I got something to make a plate out of, like that stuff over there. Might be kind of thick, but it'll work. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to get to cutting on that little piece of metal there. I already got lines on it. So, with Johnny's help, we got that baby off of there. But man, it was not easy, was it, Johnny? <laughs> it took us a good hour, probably, to get that sheet off of there. What? It's not quite big enough, but we might build some more headlights in right there or something. And then I got that little gap to fill, but that ain't no biggie. I could find something to do that. And, uh, yeah, it's something. So I got the dash in. That hole was, uh not drilled in the right place that was my mistake it happens I just self tapped it on there and it's tacked on there it's pretty sturdy it'll be fine this thing ain't made to be pretty or anything it's just made to be functional um, got the bed on there I drilled another hole to bolt that on so the beds on and that gas tank I'm gonna put in there probably all the way to the front something like that I'm going to drill a hole down through the bottom of the bed and just mount it in there. I'll still have plenty of room for other stuff, but I think I'm done for this weekend. Don't got enough for a video, I don't think, 
We checked it. Those tires come close to rubbing, but they don't. Uh, we were worried about that, but they might rub a little bit when they hit shocks or hit the hit the suspension. But I'll cut I'll cut some of it off if I have to and plug it off. No big deal. I'm not so sure about the hood. We'll see what we could do with it. I'm gonna have to run a couple more braces up the center of here before we can put that on. I don't even know if it's gonna work. It's just a experiment. I'll tell you right now, scrapping that hood was not easy. Getting that skin off was hard. I did get a lot of welding done this weekend, which makes me happy. But there is still a lot to go. It's like building a small car. Uh. Shifter, brakes, See? brakes. I got to order parts. It's going to cost money. Finding all the sheet metal is turning out to be a pain in the butt. But I don't know. We'll see you next weekend.